Hi crochet friends! I'm going to show you how to do the stitch that I use in the darkness blanket pattern. If you'd like to follow along with a written copy of the pattern, go to my website umbakadesigncrochet.com and type in darkness blanket pattern in the search bar. For this project, I used KnitPal cotton to the core worsted weight yarn and I received this from KnitPal. I've never used it before this blanket, but I really enjoyed using it. You can see the yarn information here. So for 100 grams, there's 306 yards. It's 65% cotton and 35% acrylic, and it's a worsted weight yarn. For the darkness blanket, you need to have a stitch multiple of four. So that means you can chain any number of chains you want for the width project you have, as long as you can divide that total number of chains by four. For the size I'm going to be working, I'm going to chain 36 and I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook. It's my Clover Amour hook. So to begin, create a slip knot, place it on your hook. For this sample, I'm going to chain 36. So I have my 36 chains, I'm going to skip this first chain, and we're going to work one single crochet in each chain across. At the end of row one, you will have one less stitch than you made chains. So for my project, I chained 36, and now I have 35 single crochet stitches. For row two, chain one, turn your work, make one single crochet in the first two stitches, chain two, now skip two chains, make one single crochet in each of the next two stitches, chain two, skip two, make one single crochet in each of the next two stitches, and you're going to repeat that all the way across until you have three stitches remaining. So chain two, skip two, work two single crochets. chain two, skip two, make two single crochet stitches. All the way across to the end of the row until you have three stitches remaining. So we've done our last chain two and we're skipping two and so we have three stitches remaining. And we work one single crochet in each of the last three stitches. Okay, so this is what we have after row two. You'll have chain two spaces, and then two single crochets between each set, all the way across. For row three, chain three. This is counting as our first double crochet for the row, so we're not going to work into the stitch directly under it. Make one double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch and make three double crochets into the chain two space. Now we're going to work into the skipped stitch. 
you might need to slide your stitches to the left slightly that are in the chain two space. So we need to work into this stitch right here. So work one double crochet into that stitch. And we're working all the way around the work. Try to make it tall to complete your stitch. Now we're going to skip two and make three double crochets into the next chain two space. And now we're working back into this skipped stitch, the last one that was skipped. Make your double crochet into that stitch. Make three double crochets into the next chain two space. And now we're going to work into this stitch here, the last one that was skipped, to make our double crochet. Remember to pull that yarn up as tall as the rest of the stitches to the same height as the other double crochets. So skip two, make three double crochets into the chain two space. and make one double crochet into the last skipped stitch. Making sure you pull the loop to the same height as the rest of the stitches. Skip two. Three double crochets into the next chain two space. one double crochet into the last skipped stitch. So we repeat this all the way across. At the end of the row, we have two stitches remaining. Skip the first one and make one double crochet in the last stitch. And this is what you have at the end of the row for row three. And for the project, we just repeat row two and row three until we have as many rows as we need. So for row four, we repeat row two. So chain one, turn your work, Work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches, chain two, skip two, two single crochets, chain two, skip two, two single crochets, chain two, skip two. And you work this all the way across until you have three stitches left. So you repeat this all the way across and the repeat ends with a chain two, skip two, and then you have three stitches remaining.
So we have the last three stitches. We work one single crochet in each. So after row four, this is how your project is looking. For row five, we repeat row three. So chain three to start, turn your work. That chain three counts as our first double crochet, so we don't work another stitch in that stitch. We make one double crochet in the next stitch. We skip the next stitch and we make three double crochets into the chain two space. Now we need to make our double crochet in the skipped stitch. And now we skip the next two stitches, make three double crochets in the next chain two space. Work back into the last skip stitch and make your double crochet. And repeat this all the way across until you have two stitches remaining. So you have two stitches remaining, skip one and make one double crochet in the final stitch. And that's after row five. So now just repeat row two and row three. So right here, row two is the single crochet row, row three is your double crochet row. Repeat that until you have the number of rows you need for the project. I hope that this tutorial to show you how to make the darkness blanket stitches has been helpful. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.